Hi, today we're going to go over the use of Mobile Proctor. And so I just wanted to go through the, the steps. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over here and you're going to open up the Mobile Proctor app, right? And then you're going to go ahead and scroll up and you're going to go ahead and hit connect to your Proctor. And so it's going to go ahead and pull up that page and you're going to go ahead and fill out that information. And once you fill out that information, that's going to allow you to connect, connect to your Proctor. So what we're going to do once we do that is it will bring you up to a connect mobile page and then what you'll do with the connect mobile page is you'll go ahead and hit connect and it'll pull up the camera. Now the most important part about this is how we're going to place the camera. So right here we have our computer and the idea here is that the, the camera is there to watch you take the test. So it's essentially like it's looking over your shoulder. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to go through and we're going to verify your ID. So we're going to have you take your ID and we're going to have you show it to the camera and we've got you in the camera and we'll be able to see you. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to have you show us the area. So this is the area around my computer and you can see that I've got nothing out. I've got the other cell phone so I'm going to have put that away. We're going to look around the room, and we're really looking for areas around the room just to make sure there's no one else in the room to make sure that we're oriented with it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have you place the cell phone. And so it's, it's most easy to get a stand, but sometimes you can use something else. Uh, I've got over here a, a candle holder that I could use to set it up against, right? But I like to use uh, a cell phone. Uh, Holder. So if you've got one of those, you just go ahead and use a holder. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the phone and you're going to position it about two to three feet away from the computer, right? And so the idea here is that we're going to be able to see you and we're going to be able to see the computer screen. Now in this case, there's a little bit too much light and so I'm going to go over and have you close the light so I can get a better view of the screen. This is the important part. It's important for the proctor to be able to see you and to be able to see the screen because that's how we're going to watch what, what you're doing. Again, like we're looking over your shoulder in the classroom. Now, so if, if you can't, a lot of people sometimes don't have a very big desk and they want to get it right in here close. But this, the problem with this angle is we really can't see what's going on. So what we like to do is just to set it back about two or three feet and just have a nice view. We've got you and we've got the computer. Now, sometimes it's not possible, especially on a long exam, because we're going to want to make sure that you plug the phone in. And so what we might do is have you take it and put it in an area closer to the plug, right? And so we're going to take it and we're going to set it behind, right? And so I'll take this and I'll position the laptop in me. And now I've got a good view of the, the candidate and laptop. And this is about three feet back. So really what we're looking at is about a placement of two to three feet away from the computer and in such a way that we've got the lighting as such that we can see the candidate and we can see the computer. So this is very good lighting. We've got a nice, easy view of the computer screen and we can go ahead and watch the candidate as they're taking the test. And that is how you use Mobile Proctor.